Have you ever thought that the way we pray might be arrogant? To think that God is like a patient grandfather sitting next to the phone just waiting for a call. <laughs> this is the creator of life. The one who breathed everything into existence, who put the planets in place, the stars, and yet we treat prayer like some task, like a thing that we have to do, a check on our to-do list. How foolish that is. God will not be mocked. We are called to wait upon the Lord and yet we can't even give Him five minutes of our day? God has called us to be sanctified, to, to be holy, to set our lives aside for Him. And God must look at our to-do list and his heart must break and swell with anger because there's no room for him. God desires to be a part of our lives and yet we do not even include him in our to-do list. Oftentimes it's after I get off Facebook or I finish this game or I write this paper. Oh, did you forget to include a little Jesus time in there? It's so hard and yet we do it so often. I think that the worries of our days, the burdens, all the things that weigh us down, that make us depressed would be so much less in importance if our to-do list wasn't all consuming. We can't drop everything, but I know that God's to-do list is bigger than yours. And yet, He always has time for you. God calls us to remain in Him. I think this is a concept so many of us struggle with. We are so independent. We don't need anybody to help us. Oftentimes our response is, I can do that on my own, thank you very much. When we include somebody else, it just gets messy. So why even bother? God's heart must break because this dirt cloud that he created, that he breathed life into, doesn't even have time for him. God has this beautiful plan to restore the world, to bring the kingdom of God to earth. And yet, we are so caught up in ourselves that we cannot hear what God is trying to communicate to us. Jesus came so that mankind can be the hero. He then sent the Holy Spirit so that we could accomplish greater things than he ever did. God, the God of the universe is calling you. Are you ready? Are you ready to change your heart? Are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to change your school? Are you ready to change your country? Are you ready to change your world? The God of the universe is calling you to light up the darkness. No longer can we hide. It is time to go forward. There is an epic battle taking place right now. God has already won. But when the history books of heaven are opened, will your name be written? Will your story be recorded? This is a week that can change the world. Are you ready? Ready.